Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Dan Class, and I'm joined here by Amina Golan Arabati. Hello. I'm super excited, guys, to announce that we're going to be doing some cool things in the future. Uh, for all the Patreon members that signed up for classes, for everybody that loved our show, mine and Bernice's show, on Monday nights and Thursday nights on ParamountWarehouse.com where we answered questions, um, we have actually been in discussion and talking about how what we can do to keep Bernice Golden's legacy alive. Um, I thought, what better person to bring in than family? You know, somebody that's been with Bernice her whole life. Um, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about your upbringing with her and the things that you've learned from her? Um, I mean, I know a lot of people have seen you on the show before, but for those that don't know you or maybe missed the show, you know, introduce yourself to everybody. Definitely. Well, as he said, my name is Amina Golden Arabati. Um, I am currently in my senior year at St. Bonaventure University, graduating in May. And um, my grandmother really has played such a huge role in my life for most of my life. I did a lot of traveling, um, but aside from that, we were together. We were inseparable. I remember <laughs> her teachings. And even before my memory starts, she would tell me stories of helping me learn as a child through meditation, through my sleep, through dreams. And I mean, since a child learning about colors, their meanings, their significance and importance, I, <laughs> I actually was going through an old diary that I found. And I wrote in there, it was a Wednesday, we were doing the golden forms for those of you who've been following her for long enough. She used to do her golden forms in her house. And I remember writing about it in my diary. It was really significant. And while a part of that was her telling me to leave the room because I was a little too young for some of the conversation, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I carry so much of it with me daily. and. Sometimes I don't even realize it. You know, the colors that we wear, they influence us on such a strong level. This is true. Spirits, dreams, um, it's really come together as I've grown to grow in the gift. This is awesome. So, and, I, and she's always told me off air what, how good you are how good you are at doing readings and obviously you've come on the show with us before. Oh, I had a good teacher, Dan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I've learned so much from her to the point where when she actually passed away, she was in my head. I've actually had to say, Bernice, get the heck out of here. You know, like, <laughs> leave me alone now. Time for me to rest mentally. But the, the, the most important thing that she always said to me is keep the legacy going. Yeah. Keep going. Keep keep my name alive. Because she always wanted to help people. She doesn't want people to forget about her. She wrote two books. She she's, she's done so many things mm -hmm. in her lifetime that you could only imagine, um, you know, doing. We hanging had lots with, of good stories. Hanging out with Barbara Bush. You know, like, <laughs> who hangs out in the White House with, with Barbara Bush? You know what I mean? But she, uh, she was an amazing person. She was an amazing teacher. And I feel blessed to have been able to work with her for the years that I did. Even though it was on the later part of her life, it was an honor for me because she was somebody that I looked up to as a kid listening to her on the radio <laughs> show. And when I first got to work with her, it was uh, excitement for me. Like, I get to work with one of the big wigs, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, but she, she helped me on my path in my life, and uh, I think we helped each other towards the end. And I'm, I'm happy to announce that we're going to be doing um, a live show probably yeah. once or twice a week. Uh, where we'll be answering readings for people kind of the same format that we did with Bernice. Um, that'll be on probably Monday nights, and then we're going to knock out the dates and let everybody know when those are going to be. And for everybody that's on Patreon, everybody that's uh, signed up for the classes that kind of got w shut off after she passed away, um, we have her books, we have her teachings, we have, uh, <laughs> we have a person that's actually been helping her run the classes uh, for her mm -hmm. whole life. Anytime we do a forum or yep. go somewhere, seminars. She, seminar, she would be there. And um, I feel very confident with what I've learned and everything that she knows that we can help pass on her teachings to everybody. And that's what she wanted most. It's not even her name, but the amount that she loved to help people is really instilled in me. And that's what we're going to carry on. Yeah, yeah, and she that's what she always said. If I have a last breath, I'm going to keep helping people. And she did. Yeah, and she did. And I really thought she was going to pull through, guys. She's Everything that, she, that has happened to her, she always kind of overcame with leaps and bounds. And it was just kind of a shock to me. It I was. was. actually on my way down to Hinsdale, and I had to pull over for a few minutes just to kind of 
realize what's happening, you know, because I, I was thinking, okay, we're going to be back on the air in two weeks, you know, after the illness. And I was like getting excited about it. And that was just like a drop of bricks. Uh, sent. I had a very interesting childhood, Dan. As you know, children are a lot more sensitive when it comes to spirits and intuition. So, well, she helped me out with a lot of the imaginary friends that I came to acquire throughout my childhood. And she helped me harness my gift when I didn't even know what it meant. <laughs> that, well, that's good. Didn't know what to do about it. Not a lot of kids have that, you know. Yeah, and it's a, in a really similar way that her grandma mentored her. That's all. Awesome. Now, do you know that secret recipe for making babies that she always talks about? <laughs> well, um, I mean, because people are going to ask that question, and um, you know, it was always a secret. Dan, I'm, I'm afraid if I tell you, I have right, to kill you. All right, good, good. So <laughs> she knows, guys. She knows that. Uh, one other question. Speaking of babies, are you okay with giving the birth? of babies as a question. Oh, Dan. <laughs> well, I know that was something that she really didn't like to divulge. And a question that commonly came up when we were doing radio at parties, you know, everyone wants to know, but she would like to stick to the yes or no answer because, you know, doing this, there's not a whole lot of surprise. She'd huff and puff, but then she'd gotta, be like, "He's, it's going to have piping. It's going to have piping. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes, she taught me She taught me her ways well. Wow. That's cool. So, guys, we're looking forward to doing the shows again, and we're looking forward to doing the classes with you again. Yes, I'm very excited. Patreon, stay tuned. We'll, we'll have announcements soon with the dates that we're going to be doing them, kind of like we did before, so you can prepare and set the uh, time on your schedule to watch them live and participate in the chat room. Um, other than that, you can always go back and watch the old classes. Um, probably Monday nights for the live question and answer sessions like yeah. we did and, and it'll be awesome so guys thanks so much and thank you for all the prayers thank you yes, for all the well thank wishes you for all of the love that has been pouring in and continues to pour in and for all your support for her and for our family during this time okay we will see you guys very soon this is Dan and Amina and next time you see us we'll be live yes take care And cut. Cool.